Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Tofugu Eats. My name is Koichi. My name is Michael. And we have a very, very interesting episode today because we are eating Japanese bugs. Our intern Kanai was writing an article about bugs and then she got her mother to send us bugs and then she surprised us this morning with bugs to eat on video. So we're gonna do that today. Yeah, I didn't eat breakfast, so I'm pretty hungry. And I didn't eat dinner or breakfast, so I'm very hungry. Yeah, so I'm ready to eat these bugs. Kind of. But first, a quick history on eating bugs in Japan. Bugs have been eaten in Japan for centuries. Especially in the Shinshu region. That's like up in the Nagano area. The oldest records of Japanese bug cuisine are from the Edo period. They were mostly eaten in farming villages, but in World War II when food was very, very scarce, a lot more people ate them because it's food. After the war, food options increased and people stopped eating insects. But recently, we've seen more chefs making bug dishes in Japan. Some people even say that bugs will be the food of the future. Bugs are super abundant. They're quick to grow. They're high in protein. They're just filled with vitamins. They're more eco-friendly. They're supposed to be pretty healthy. Yes. So on that note, we're gonna eat some bugs too. First up, we're gonna eat inago, which is rice grasshoppers. To explain inago, we're gonna talk to our intern, Kanai. So, inago is rice grasshoppers. They live in rice field. I used to eat it like at grandma's house. Why? I don't know, they offered me. Yeah, but why would you eat grasshoppers unless it like made you smart or something? Oh yeah, See, they said that, so I gave them, so I ate it. And I really liked it. All right, get out of here. Mmm, <laughs> that sounds lovely. I can't wait to eat these grasshoppers that eat rice. Okay, we're eating inago first. It's the grass. We're eating grasshopper hopper first. So we got here on the rice. Yeah, I actually ate a lot of grasshopper growing up, so. Really? Grasshopper and crickets. Oh, yeah. you're all set. Yeah, this, I've never had this, this looks before. way better than what I had to eat in my childhood. Which oh, were man. just like foraged crickets from the ground. I didn't know you had an advantage. These are really good, actually. That's actually pretty good. It's really good. I like right. the texture. And the texture is, we got the, the very crunchy, I wanted to call it a cucumber. It's not a cucumber. Uh, it's a grasshopper. Grasshopper. Yeah. Uh, they're very crunchy. Yeah, grasshoppers are super crunchy. What would you compare the grasshopper to, texture-wise? I don't know. Um, there's another kind of food that Grass always crickets, like, maybe. Yeah, it gets it gets kind of stuck in. It's like a nut, kind of like a nut with the skin on it. Yeah, like a like a corn nut. Yeah, a little yeah. bit softer than a nut. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a little crunchier. Anything that's like soaked and cooked and like meeting and show you. Mm -hmm. It just tastes like that. It's pretty good. I want some rice with it though. Mm -hmm. So you get the same thing. That's pretty good. Easy peasy. Can we get more of this for the office? I could eat it every day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we don't even need wheat anymore. Get that out of here. No more bread. Mm -hmm. It's grasshopper. Yeah, it's way better than the sewer grasshoppers I eat mm -hmm. normally. Normally? Like most of the time? <laughs> okay, ready to move on to B? Yeah. So next up, we're gonna eat hachinoko, or bee larva. Literally, the children of bees. Bee babies. To explain a little bit more about this bee larva, we're gonna talk to Kanai. So hachinoko is bee babies. I actually have never tried that, but it's gonna taste really good. They're commonly like served in fancy restaurants. So compared to rice grass hoppers, they're really fancy stuff. Thank you. Thanks. Goodbye. Yeah, so those bee babies. Eating the hachi, hachinoko, right? I kind of want to eat like a real, just saying like eventually I want to eat an adult bee. But right now, there, bee baby. There are some in here. If you get really, really? lucky, you'll find an actual bee. Oh, I don't know if we got bee. any though. Oh, oh no, I found one. That, 
I didn't get one. I found a bee. Okay, ready? Bee baby. Mine was an adult. That was good too. Yeah. Ooh, that's kind of, um, what does that taste like? Oh, what does that taste like? That tastes good. It tastes like nutrition. It's Is like, it? it's like how they discovered that if you, if you put like the, the blood of teenagers into mice, they, they live longer. <laughs> so I didn't know that. Yeah. Is there goma in this? Is there, it tastes like goma, like sesame, QP sesame dressing. Maybe that's just the natural bee flavor. It tastes like sesame. Or you brought a bag over here because you're worried about throwing up. I didn't delicious. know. I thought like, you know, I just I was like, I can't go on the floor just in case. <laughs> that was great. It was right. Mm -hmm. Part of it is that they're so, they're so saturated in other flavors that you can't really mm -hmm. tell. So as long as you don't mind like, oh, I have a, a full grown grasshopper in my chopstick. Mm -hmm. and then, that it just is, tastes really good. It's not like you just stuck your hand in the beehive and pulled out a bunch of larva and just ate it. Uh, the bee larva, I don't know how to explain that texture. It's like, bee larva texture is just like, kind of like the rice. Very sandy smooth. It's not sandy texture, but it's a little bit of rough texture, but it's very consistently mm -hmm. rough as you eat it through. It's yeah. good. I thought they would pop like pomegranate seeds. Yeah. They're kind of like beans to me. It kind of like, like yeah. has the texture of a bean. They're like beans of the bee world. Mm-hmm. Bean. Bees? B-E-E-N. No, that's already a word. Yeah, it smells like soy sauce and meeting and- Yeah, pretty much. It smells like Japanese cooking. Yep. It smells like food, that makes it a lot easier. I think a lot of people have trouble, because smell is so associated with taste, mm -hmm. that people have trouble with smells, but this smells like good, good food. Yeah. Easy beasy. Easy beasy. Mm-hmm. Mm. Easy beasy. Do you have a favorite between the grasshopper? I like them both a lot. Um, they go well together. You get two different textures, two different flavors if you eat them together. And there's so many more bugs that we haven't eaten. Mm -hmm. There is like anything though, like if you just eat, you know, something that's completely plain mm -hmm. without any flavoring on it, it's not as good. Same with bugs. Add good flavoring to it, you have mm -hmm. good food. I think really like the visual, I mean the grasshopper visual is fine for me. No. It doesn't bother me. Visual of the bee larva is a little weird, but if you don't look at it, it's fine. On well, the sewer forest I grew up in, <laughs> the sewer this forest. is very normal. So is it like the sewer bees? A forest that was underground mm -hmm. in the sewer, or was it a forest oh, yeah. that people just like dumped their waste in? <laughs> it was a little bit of both. <laughs> so would you eat the whole thing? Like if you were at a restaurant and you're like, oh, yeah. oh man, I got like a bunch of my favorite foods. Oh, and there's the bee larva. Yeah, I, go I, I would hope that they're not giving us like canned bee larva, but yeah. Fresh bee larva at mm -hmm. a restaurant? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I would order this at a restaurant. Yeah. So there you have it. We ate Japanese bugs. Mm -hmm. um, I thought they would be awesome. I don't know if Michael did at first, but he loves them now. Yeah, I didn't know at first. <laughs> I, I suspected I'd like them, but I wasn't sure. Yeah. But I, I liked them. They were good. And all the faces Kanai kept making, like, she made us seem like it would be really bad, but it was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. She tried to psych us out. Mm -hmm. But Kanai. it's really good. Interns. Always psyching us out. Mm -hmm. So on that note, go try some bugs. Yeah, they're really good. Oh, go read the article about bugs because there's way more stuff in there. You can learn how to make these bugs. Mm -hmm. You can learn where to get them, what different types of things there are because we only had two out of many different options. And uh, yeah, check it out. It's very good. Yeah, you find out how good they are for you. Thank you for watching. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and then watch some more of our videos which have some more eating, have some more education, have some more... Uh, sorry, I'm not, I'm trying to eat it. I'm a kaiju. We are the kaiju of the bug world. Mm -hmm. www.tofugu.com Yeah. Slash fiction. New articles every week. Stick it or In it to cricket. You did it. Mm-hmm. You got some more now. Yeah.